Many men relate to Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. Patrick Bateman is what young men are told to want, who they should become. He's smart, went to university, has a high paying job, has a fiance, is extremely muscular and aesthetic, can attract women easily, lives in a beautiful apartment, has a large group of friends and an active social life. He is the embodiment of what young men want to become. And yet, Patrick is empty. Apart from wearing expensive clothes, drinking J&B whiskey and trying to fit in with everyone around him, he has nothing. Nothing brings him joy or makes him feel anything. The only time whenever he feels like himself, when he's not playing a character with a mask, is when he's committing degenerate and depraved acts like casual sex, drugs and murder. So even though most men don't go around murdering men and women, many of them relate to Patrick Bateman for, I believe, one main reason. Patrick has no purpose, no mission in life, so he merely distracts himself with pleasure. He feels nothing and has nothing to work hard towards achieving. He has no real goals to work towards, so he distracts himself by committing despicable actions. His true self is hidden behind a mask of sanity. And that mask falls many times during the movie. And it's the exact same as the average man. The average man will work all day, go home, watch TV, eat dinner, and then go to sleep. They may drink a beer at the bar or play video games or go clubbing or whatever, but it's pretty much the same. They work all day to survive, but the average man has nothing to actually work towards, no mission, no purpose. They're unable to speak their true opinions, what they truly believe, because they have no freedom as they could get screamed at or even fired for saying what they believe. They work to survive and use all their free time to numb themselves with pleasure, just before having to go right back to work the next day. Just like Patrick, they aren't doing anything that's meaningful or important to them. Patrick Bateman is just like a lot of men. He's absolutely miserable. He hates his life. He hates all the people that are around him. He hates everyone from his fiance. I'm human. No, I'm in, I'm in touch with humanity. Evelyn, I'm uh, sorry. I just... Uh, you're not terribly important to me. <laughs> to his co-workers, to prostitutes, he only values anything based off of the price tag or what company made it. He prioritizes his status and fitting in. I want to fit in. Over all other things. Almost having a panic attack when they don't have a good table in a restaurant. I'm on the verge of tears by the time we arrive at a spa, since I'm positive we won't have a decent table. But we do. The relief washes over me in an awesome way. Or murdering Paul Allen with an axe, just because he could get a reservation in Dorcia and get a tanning machine in his house. Patrick doesn't have any meaning in his life. There's no big thing that he's trying to work towards accomplishing. He's no ambition or goals beyond the vapid achievements that only inflates his ego, like trying to get into Dorcia or Trump's Christmas party. A lot of men nowadays face the exact same problems. They lack meaning. They lack a purpose that they actually want to work towards achieving. When men don't have a challenge to face an insurmountable goal that they need to achieve, they distract themselves with pleasure. This pleasure could come in many forms from playing video games, jacking off, or even drinking. However, whilst Patrick will also distract himself with those same distractions, his pleasures go all the way up to murders and executions. In order to actually find your purpose in life, you need to find the challenge, the achievement that will give your life meaning. You will need to think, what would I do with my life? What would be my focus if I didn't have to worry about money at all? What would I do if I didn't need to ever worry about money 
or anything. It could be just trying to build a YouTube channel or start a gym or focus on kickboxing or trying to become a bodybuilder or becoming an author or going to the Olympics. You got to spend some time and think, what would I be willing to invest my life into and focus on achieving for the next couple of years? What mission would I want to achieve? You may still have to work a nine to five job or go to school at the same time, even if it's not your purpose, but you should spend a large majority of your free time trying to focus on working towards your purpose on actually trying to achieve it. If you work on achieving your purpose for long enough, you may become successful enough that you don't even need a nine to five job and you can instead spend all your time just working on this thing that you love to do, just focusing entirely on your purpose, on achieving your mission. A lot of people think that American Psycho is an attack on yuppies and these types of men who just care about status and all that. However, I don't believe that. I really think this is a wake up call for men. Even if you aren't going around murdering people, living a purposeless life where you constantly distract yourselves with depravity and instant gratification will result in you being as miserable as Patrick Bateman. You can even see this in the movie with Patrick sparing the life of his assistant who's in love with him. We've all seen that Patrick has no qualms or problems about murdering people. It's what he loves to do. Yet he spares the life of only one real person. And that's the only person who shows any sort of meaning in life beyond the fashion and restaurant reservations. She's a real person trying to live a meaningful life. So he can't bring himself to kill her. This entire book and movie exposes this idea of life without purpose. How even if you could have everything that you could ever want, money, women, suits, jewelry, whatever it is, whatever it is, if you don't have any passion, creativity or purpose in your life, then your life will be empty. If you live without a purpose that you aren't trying to achieve, even if you could acquire everything you dream of, it will be dissatisfying because you're not actually fulfilling anything apart from your own greed and pleasure. This is why Patrick has to have the best seats in the restaurant, the best haircut, the best business card, the best suits, the best apartment, the hottest women. Because he lives a meaningless life, all he can judge himself upon is being the best, having the best stuff. This occurs when you take self-improvement from a dangerous perspective, where you try to improve yourself and your life on the outside. So everyone who looks at your life from their perspective sees a young, handsome, successful man who has everything he could ever want. However, what they don't actually see is the inside mentality and mental state of the actual man. This is why improving your mental health, your mentality, your gratitude, your spirituality is just as important as going to the gym, taking care of your body or earning more money. Now, I'm definitely not saying that you shouldn't want to go to the gym, improve your style and fashion, become wealthy or upgrade your looks. In fact, I heavily encourage all men to do this. I think it's a necessity that you should try look your best, especially in this day and age. Like I even bought one of these face ice packs for, uh, because of the Patrick Bateman morning routine. In the morning, if my face is a little puffy, I'll put on an ice pack while doing my stomach crunches. I can do a thousand now. And these are fantastic for removing the bags under your eyes, by the way. As a self-improvement YouTuber and someone who's been watching self-improvement videos for a long time, it definitely made me think that all these habits that I was told and believe are totally necessary to actually improve yourself holistically, were then used by this raging psychopath murderer. <laughs> like going to the gym, having a skincare routine, morning routine, and trying to improve yourself in all aspects of life. However, the whole problem with Patrick Bateman and his actual self-improvement is that his life has no meaning. So he does all the good habits, but he just does them so he can fit in with everyone else at Piers and Piers, and just hide who he actually is and just <laughs> just try to fit in with everyone who associates with him. He hides his true identity so much that he doesn't even see himself as an individual, but merely an idea, some kind of abstraction. His life is so purposeless 
that he could easily hide all of his emotions and personality, with his real self only coming out whilst on either a rampage or when he's confessing his crimes. And yet even when he confesses his crimes, he's just so totally bland that no one believes that he could possibly do it. So he receives no actual catharsis from actually confessing. The majority of men nowadays, especially young men, have no purpose or meaning in life. They merely go through life surviving without actually anything deeper. If you want to avoid this, you must find your purpose and start relentlessly pursuing and trying to achieve it. Now, if you have learned a bit about how to maybe not end up like Patrick Bateman, like take the good parts of his life, like the self-improvement bits, and then just leave the murderous, no purposeless parts down, then please subscribe to the channel for more self-improvement videos. And I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next self-improvement video.